Paul Isley of Rainforest Floor Incorporated in Torrance, California. Paul's going to talk to us about some of his rare hybrids and other interesting plants. Hello, Paul. Hello, Barry. It's nice to be here once again with you. And uh, here we are again at Rainforest Floor in Torrance, California. Today I want to talk about uh, hybridization and a couple of the hybrids that we've developed over the years. In my hands I have these two little rather nondescript looking Talantias, but I want to show you what they can turn into over time. Uh, in my right hand here, your left, I have Talantia uh, rothii. And Talantia rothii is, this one's, I don't know, a number of years old. It's on its way to being an incredible plant. And this one is called Talantia best in class, which is a hybrid of Talantia rothii. They look relatively the same, but over time, they're gonna change greatly. What I'd like to do now is show you what the parents look like. We'll go from there, okay? So here we go. Talantia rothii is actually an intergressive hybrid. It's a hybrid of Talantia roland gasolini and Talantia alisco monticola. It's a natural hybrid, right, Paul? It's a natural hybrid, yes, down in Mexico. This is a smaller but beautifully colored Talantia roland gasolini. And um, this is a smaller but coming into bloom Talantia Jalisco Monocola. Now the inflorescence on the Jalisco Monocola will get much larger. It can branch. You can see how inflated the spikes are. And they can be bright yellow with a lot of orange and purple flowers. So if you combine these two, you get Talantia Rothia, which is... And uh, these are all from Mexico, right Paul? Uh, yes, these are both Mexican species, and I just want to show you, these guys are horses, so give me a chance. Wow! So, look at these. These are fantastic Talantia Rothiais. You don't see them like this very often at all because we've been growing them for many, many years. Uh, if you see this in the, in the trade, and it's not a small seedling, it's probably collected out of Mexico. Uh, which is sad because their habitats are almost gone and there are very few left. I was just down there a few months ago and we went all over. We couldn't find hardly any. So, But this is Talantia rothii, an absolutely gorgeous plant. It turns bright red when it flowers. It has an enormous bloom spike. And this is the resultant hybrid intergressive species from Talantia rolling gasolini and Talantia at least comaticola. You know, say those three times. Yes, yeah. and uh, like 18, 20 inches in diameter, huh? Yeah, yeah, something like that. They're uh, they're pretty big. Spectacular, pretty big. spectacular. So, this is Rothi. Okay. And this is Talantia zerographica. Okay. And Talantia zerographica is a uh, Guatemalan species. And you can see this is coming into bloom. It's very pretty. Here's another one. This one has better shape, this one has better color. But you can get the idea of what zero graphicas can look like when they bloom. They can also be larger than this. And this is another species that's been collected out. It's essentially considered extinct, right? Well, it's, yeah, I mean, they're still there, but they're just uh, a lot farther and fewer and in between than they are in the nurseries where they are. These 60 acres of these is a, it's an impressive sight. But yeah. Anyway, so the zero graphica um, crossed with the Rothii is called best in class, which was the one in this hand that I first showed you. And since Talantias have tremendous hybrid vigor, you can imagine what this plant can grow into because it can get much larger, the inflorescence can be much larger than either parent. So best in class will have reddish leaves be about this big and be this absolutely unbelievable plant. Best in class. Yeah, so here we are again. These are the uh, the young plants, the young plants that we call them, of the uh, Talantia best in class, the Zero Graphica by the Talantia Rothi. And another plant I wanted to show you, the last plant for this little segment, is over here. Wow! It's huge! Yeah, this is, yeah, they're so amazing. Uh, so amazing. This is another plant that is um, a mixture of Rothii and Felisco Monticola. And you can see this is probably a back cross from Rothii to Lisco Monocola. It has quite a bit of Rothii in it. And you can see there's a lot of similarity, but you can see that there's a lot of difference as well. And so 
you can also see that it's spiking very similarly to Jalisco Monacola. And so this one leans more towards Jalisco Monacola. And it's, um, you know, probably, a, 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 they call it a, um, a retrogressive when it, we back cross one hybrid to one of the two parents. Oh. And um, it's, that's the back cross. That's probably what this one is. We don't know. I mean, it's probably 25 years old. It's amazing. It's about 30 and, inches um, in diameter. Oh, I probably more than that. More than that. Like 40. 40 it's inches. Huge. It's huge. And, and it's coming into bloom. It'll get a lot larger and a lot more color in the inflorescence. So. Fantastic. Anyway, just a little bit of tips for today and talking about Rothii and Rolling Gasolini and Zerographica and Elisca Monacola. And there you go. And we, Paul says hello to us from his biannual sale. And then we'll yeah. be talking more about more of his great hybrids in future videos. All right. Thanks a lot, Barry. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank Again. you, Paul. Bye-bye. Thank you.